You know, I gotta, I gotta tell you a little story. A couple of days ago, uh, I was doing an interview for a magazine article. And uh, uh, the guy asked me a whole bunch of questions. And one of the questions were, hey Al, you've been in a business a long, long, long time. What are you seeing today that is impacting our industry in a big way? Well, the answer was pretty easy. It's invasive species, it's climate change, and what do you think the other one is? It's social media. These three things are impacting our sport in ways I've never seen before. Today, Dan and I only want to talk about two of these three elements. We want to talk about climate change and invasive, invasive species. The other subject matter, social media, that's going to be another television show, and I think you're going to find that one interesting. Yeah, it's interesting, Al. The climate change and AIS problem is affecting more than fishermen nowadays. It's affecting all recreational water sports. I mean, I don't care if you're a wakeboarder, if you're a kayak guy, if you're a duck hunter and you use a boat. All of these things are impacted by climate and by the AIS. Oh, got mine. You got one. I got one. Spotlock, we're on them, Al. They're, they're attacking the boats. They're everywhere. They're, they're everywhere. They're attacking the boat. They're coming in like torpedoes, walleye pedos. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to coin that phrase, I walleye love pedos. <laughs> I love it, Dan. It is fun, isn't it? It's oh, a Look at this. Man. Wait, wait, you don't need that. Look at this. Boop, boop, boop. I got an eater. An eater. You got him. I got you an got eater. That's the money fish <laughs> when it comes to walleyes. Yep. Ah. You know, the super duper eaters, super duper, super duper. You know, one of the things that ha happened to a lot of our fisheries today because of zebra mussels is, is when we've stocked fry for so many years in so many of our lakes, it's worked for many, many years. Now it doesn't work anymore on a lot of bodies of water. They have to go and start stocking uh, uh, a six, seven, eight, fish, eight, eight inch fish, fall fish in these lakes, which means it's going to cost more money, so that's a negative, but we're going to get a jump on things. Problematic. All right, Al. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Oh. <laughs> I suppose you want me to net something. Yeah. I can't even move them. I suppose you want me to net them. One thing I'll have I to say, boy, you, you, de you definitely want to play these fish out when you're fishing with these reaction baits. You know what I mean? There we go. Yeah. Oh, whoa, we'll get him out. Quick, 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 quick. Oh. Get him. No. <laughs> what a net job. Uh, get him this, this way. Yeah, my Good hero. Thing we ain't in the tournament. My hero. I dumped this fish. Hell, <laughs> my hero. My hero, and the hook popped out of the net perfectly. <laughs> that, was, that was fun, man. Look at that. Fish of all sizes. You catch big fish, you catch medium fish, you catch a lot of eater fish if you're, if you're looking for those. We'll get this guy back in the water. Okay. <laughs> you know, we've been talking about uh, climate change and AIS and all that stuff, and it's interesting, you know, with the climate change up north, we, we're seeing a lot longer growing season, which can be a benefit for us. You know, the fish are getting a longer growing cycle, we're getting bigger fish. Now, conversely to that, down south, they got a longer growing season, it can get too hot. So there's kind of some pros and cons to uh, the, the climate change that we're dealing with today. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna drift back in a second, Dan. Dan, Dan I'm kind of coming, oh, got him. Yeah, he, come on, drift uh, back. Uh, you, you're casting up no, that time, weren't you? Oh, coming up, that's a good one. Good one? That's a good one, Dan. -O. Are you going to need one my... of them ones like you caught, I think. Are you going to need my services? I'm going to need, eh, I'm not sure yet. I will get ready because you don't have time. No, to no, no, it ain't a big one. Never mind. It's just oh, a it's couple. Oh, it's a good one. That's nice, a good nice one. one. Whoa. Here, I'll, I'll be up. Okay, yeah, I'll get this dude out of here for you. I mean, it really okay. is amazing how sharp. Yeah, yeah, you know, or that, that, that <coughs> the hooks are on that jig and wrap. Uh, and they hook, everything that bites gets hooked. It's an amazing, amazing, amazing bait. Yeah, you know, <coughs> a lot of natural reproduction is probably going to get 
impacted by some of this AIS stuff. Uh, uh, it's so, it, it's still relatively new. There's a lot of stuff that we don't know about the overall imp impact that, that we're seeing, particularly on walleyes. Yeah, you, you know, there's, we're in a major learning curve now. So, uh, you, you know, like our Minnesota Department of Natural Resources, walleyes is a big money fish in our state. That's why they're so concerned about AIS. You know, we lo lose or lose our, uh, a, a bit of our walleye population. That's big money in this state, just like it is in Wisconsin, the Dakotas, Michigan. You know, in my home state of Minnesota, they've taken a very aggressive approach to battling AIS. And uh, they're spending a lot of money on public awareness. And the fact of the matter is, um, a lot of lakes don't have AIS in it. But that doesn't mean that you don't pay attention, you don't watch what you're doing, you know, it's just something that you gotta keep at bay.